in this video i'm going to provide you with the best settings so that way you can stream the tiktok and achieve a buttery smooth 1080p 60 fps stream without experiencing any lag utilizing tiktok live studio so jumping straight into the video the very first thing you want to do is open up tiktok live studio and in case if you don't already have this downloaded you will need a windows laptop or pc in order for you to be able to do this and that is because mobile devices such as cell phones or tablets as well as mac devices is not compatible with tiktok live studio so if you do have a windows laptop or pc i'll make sure once again that i have a link to it down in the description below so that we can go ahead and follow along and so once you open up TikTok Live Studio, you need to come to the settings icon that's on the top right hand corner that's going to be right next to your profile. A window is then going to appear and it's automatically going to bring you to the live quality section of TikTok Live Studio. And it's going to provide you with two ways on how you're able to optimize your settings. The very first way is by allowing TikTok to automatically run a speed test on your PC by clicking this button that says run and it's going to provide you with the best settings according to TikTok standards. However, we're not going to do this because it is not accurate. What we're going to do is we're going to adjust our settings manually. So if you come down here, you want your video quality set for 1080p 60 since that's the kind of stream that we are looking for. You want your resolution set to 1920 by 1080. You want your FPS values set to 60. And then for your video bit rate, we need to actually run a speed test on your internet to figure out how much bit rate we have to work with. And we'll determine that by our upload speed. And so in order to get those numbers, we need to go to this website, speedtest.net. I'm going to make sure that I have a link to this down in the description below so that we guys can go ahead directly to this page. And so what we're going to do from here is click on this big blue button right here that says go. And what we're going to do is just wait for this to finish. So first, it's going to provide us with our download speed. And then second, it's going to provide us with our upload speed. Now, in order to figure out exactly how much bit rate that we have to work with, we're going to take our upload speed going to multiply it by 1000 and so for me i have 40 megabytes of upload speed which is actually going to be equivalent to 40,000 kilobits per second and so with 40,000 kilobits per second that provides me with a lot of resources to utilize for my bit rate and the rule of thumb is that you only utilize 80 percent of your kilobits for your bit rate and the last 20 percent is backup so that way your stream doesn't lag doesn't crash or nothing goes wrong now because of the fact that i have so much to work with i'm only going to be utilizing four to six thousand kilobits per second for my bit rate and i highly recommend that you do the same so if you're someone that has 20 megabytes of upload speed 30 25 or anything like that do not go any higher than 2500 to 6000 uh, kilobits per second for your bit rate and that is because it is completely overkill for tiktok TikTok only recommends that you have between 2,500 to 6,000 kilobits per second for your bit rate. And so we're only going to stick within that range. So 4,000 to 6,000 is what we're going to utilize. So I'm actually going to go ahead and select that right here. So I'm going to do 6,000 for me. And then for your audio bit rate, you want to make sure you have this at 128 as recommended. And then for your encoder, you want to have it set to H264. This is going to utilize your GPU on your PC instead of utilizing your CPU. Your GPU utilizes less resources than your CPU. So if you have a GPU that is a 20 series and above, you want to make sure that you're utilizing the H264 video encoder. Now, I would not recommend going to H265 because that's just a lot. You can if you do have the GPU for it and if your PC is high enough for it, you can utilize it, but you don't really need it. It's not really necessary. The last couple options here is the stream latency. So if you are someone that's doing competitive gaming and you don't want to get like stream sniped or anything like that, you can go ahead and turn this on. For your codec, compatibility mode this is an option that you only utilize if you are running into issues with your screen turning green this is an option that tiktok provides to be able to fix that issue if that's what's happening now really quickly if you are somebody that is on a lower end pc or laptop or you don't have the best internet then what you can do is bring down your resolution from 1080p to 720p 
and of course you definitely want to have this at 60 fps if you can but if not then you can go to 30 fps and both of those settings will work just fine and you'll be able to still achieve a good looking stream with these particular settings as well and so once you set that up you will now officially be ready to go live on tiktok and so with that being said that is going to be all for today's video now if you found this helpful if you learned something make sure you give this a big fat thumbs up make sure you guys go ahead and smash that subscribe button as well as turn on your post notifications so that way you do not miss a single video that gets posted up on this channel and in case if you want to learn how to add background music to your TikTok live streams, make sure you click on this video right here and I'll walk you through step by step on how you're able to do that 100% for free.